hey what's happening guys this is Tito back with another video and today i am going to show you how to flash the cr droid rom which is based on android 8.1 on redmi note 3 i'll flash it because some of you guys have requested it already so without further any more delay let's make it happen so first we need to go to this xda thread to download the rom and gapps all the links will be listed in the description box below so do not worry okay so as i am on nitrogen os right now so let me boot into twrp recovery to flash the rom and gapps once you are booted into twrp recovery go to wipe wipe cache dalvi cache system and data as usual i am on twrp 3.0.2 slash 2 right now now go back and go to install Select the ROM and GApps file, then swipe to confirm flash. Once done, hit reboot system and wait for the time being. Alright, the boot animation is lagging already. It's the first boot, so let's not worry too much about it. And see how is the ROM itself. Now let me complete the setup process. As I am done with the setup now, let's see how is the stock launcher here. Okay, the UI is already freezing on me. Not a good experience here. Here are the settings for the stock launcher. As you can see, I don't know for what reason, I do not have the cellular network bars here. So I had to restart the phone. Once I am done rebooting the device, I find out that the access point was there, but it was not selected. So I had to select it manually. Now I tried to place a call via GeoVault TE, but the dialer was stuck and freezing. And when it got connected, I couldn't hear a thing. Even I tried later with the earpiece and the loudspeaker and both of them were not really working at all for calling. I tried it again and again, it was freezing, stuttering and not working at all. Now for some reason, I tried to play a song with the stock music player, it was not working too. Audio FX is forced closing every time I try to play a song or open a song. Then I tried it with a third party music player called Pulsar and it was the same. So at this point, I just rebooted into recovery here to flash the latest firmware. Even after doing that, everything I mentioned previously is still the same. Sound is not really working at all in this ROM. So conclusion, I think this ROM has a big problem with audio input and output, both because no in-call sound, microphone doesn't work while setting up Google Assistant, or can't play music at all. Here are the customizations for this ROM, if you are really into that. You can customize status bar, quick settings panel and pretty much every other stuff. And my only favorite MIUI feature, three finger gesture is present here. So that's cool and all, but I will not recommend you flashing this ROM as of today. It's the beta build 4.0 by the way, and I just hope it gets better in the future. This ROM is based on unofficial Lineage OS 15 I guess, that's why this logo is here. And the camera works fine here too. So I couldn't use this ROM without Vaulty, so I had to boot into recovery and flash my daily driver ROM which is Lineage OS or Nitrogen OS. I will flash Nitrogen OS right now. Thank you so much for watching guys, hit the big thumbs up button if you liked this video. It was a fail but I couldn't help. Subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off. I will see you guys in the next one.
Bye-bye now.